Hello, Mr. Niren here. Welcome to Dragon Age Origins. They have all the expansions too. You can select, select new game, Dragon Age Origins, and the expansion pack, The Awakening. You can also check other campaigns. Here we have the expansion and we have the Witch Hunt, Darkspawn Chronicles, Liliana's Song, and the Golems of Amgarak. Alright, so I'm playing the Steam version of the game. I need to play my Steam games before January 4th, 2024 because it will stop working on my best computer, Windows 7 computer. But uh, I also have Dragon Age Origins for the DVD. The problem with that version is that it doesn't have the expansion packs. So I could always install the DVD version and play the original game. When Steam doesn't work, and I believe because I have it installed on Steam, that I can move over the files to the DVD version. It worked with Alexander, Room to War Alexander, uh, so it should work with this too. That way I can play anyway. But uh, there are some games that I do not have outside of Steam, and some games that are, that are unique to Steam. But yeah, I don't have the expansion packs because I bought this game, Dragon Age Origins, for the PC computer bought it back in 2009. Then I played very little of it and didn't like it and never picked it up again. But now there is a new Medieval Total War Kingdoms mod coming that is really epic looking and really awesome uh, in how it looks. I, I mean it, it looks very professional. It has awesome models, awesome battlefields, awesome uh, content. Uh, and uh, they won't release it until it's ready. They, they have the attitude that some others have that it needs to be 100% finished before they release it. So. so it's not released yet, but I've seen some gameplay from it. The Soul Games Inkel, uh, he uh, is one of the modders that made uh, the giant map of Game of Thrones to the War version 5.6. He, uh, he uh, spoke about uh, CEA, Creative Assembly, and, and the current situations in 2023, and and uh, while he spoke, he played a beta version of uh, Dragon Age Total War, which uh, he had success to because he is one of the developers, he's the main creator of the map for the mod, he's very good at creating maps, uh, as we can see in the Game of Thrones Total War Enhanced version 5.6 map. It's not the same map as in, Fire in, 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 as in the retro sub mod because Firestorm replaced his map with a different map, but certainly it's it's the, the 5.6 map was made by the same guy that is making the map for Dragon Age Origins. It's very very detailed. Okay, audio. We need to lower the audio. Effects, music volume. I like the music, but we, we need to be able to hear myself. Alright, hopefully it won't be too loud. So I hadn't played this a lot. I had started the game back in 2009, and then I found that unlike, because this is made by BioWare, the same company that made Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic or Star Wars KOTOR, one of my favorite games that I almost finished, then I managed to delete the save. Another game I want to finish, but I do not have the Steam version. I do have the Steam version, but I also have the 3D version with lots of mods installed. So I'm not gonna install the Steam version, I will play the other version. And I am in no hurry to play that game because uh, it's not on Steam. But this one is, so I'd rather play this and Final Fantasy XII and Final Fantasy IV and other games on Steam. Okay, and. Uh, in 2009 I had bought the game because I, I heard it was good or great and because it was made by the same developers that made Star Wars Couture uh, but when I started it I found pretty fast that, that it had a different uh, control system you, you clicked with the mouse to, to make the character move you didn't run around with the keyboard and so I dismissed the, the, the game pretty fast and installed it and never looked at it again uh, until uh, recently and I found that there are two ways you can control the character you can click with the mouse if you are out zoomed or you can zoom in and move with the keyboard so I, I was wrong it was possible to control it like in Star Wars Couture 
I just uh, dismissed it when I found it. It uh, thought it was point point and click. Okay, so I played a bit yesterday uh, for play testing reasons. I played uh, the first chapter up until the betrayal uh, of uh, the main character's family, and uh, then I exited, and then I installed some mods, and then I played the same part again and again. So I played that bit uh, uh, a few times. And then I finally played, and I had all the mods finally installed that I wanted. Then I played all the way to, to Ferelden, and uh, until you go out to slay some monsters. And then I fought uh, some monsters until I, uh, all my team members died. So yeah, I played a bit in the game now. But in 2009 I believe I only moved the character a little bit, and then I didn't want to play anymore. We will create a new character, we have some save games, also one thing. I do own uh, Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age uh, Inquisition, which is Dragon Age 3. So this game is from, uh, I believe, uh, November 2009. And uh, Dragon Age 2 if, is from, uh, if I'm not wrong, from March 2011. And then the third game is from November 2014. So it's a bit more recent. All the games are on Steam. And I own them on Steam, but I have the first game uh, outside of Steam too. Okay, but it wouldn't have the expansions outside of Steam, but they can be moved from Steam to, to the DVD version, I think. Anyway, uh, I found that in Dragon Age 2 at least, because I installed it, it didn't take a lot of space. So I installed it too, it took about 10 gigabytes of space, uh, and or 13 or something. Uh, I found that you can load your previous save. And, and all the decisions you have made in, in that game will move over to the new game. So the main character in Dragon Age 2 will have the same history as your old character, which is really cool. But it's not the same model, and I didn't like the models of the, the second game. If I play a female, I want them to look good. They look too masculine and too, too boyish in that game. I will need to download mods there too to make them look good. Anyway, I prefer uh, playing females. Uh, I have played female warriors and mages and such ever since 2006 in different games. Uh, ever since I was a teenager, uh, probably since 2004, whenever I play a role-playing game. Since Star Wars Coot or, or World of Warcraft or anything, I always picked a female. Uh, the only exception is if I played a dwarf, then I would play a male dwarf or a gnome. But, but if, if I played uh, a human or an elf, then I would always pick a female. A dwarf would be a male, because they should be, you know, masculine, gimli types, in my opinion. Okay, and monsters usually are, are not uh, female. But yeah, whenever I played a human or a an elf, then, then I would uh, pick a female and the hottest one possible. Okay, so we played a bit. I believe I stopped playing here when we moved out of Ferelden to slay some monsters and played until I were killed. We won't load. We'll create a new game. And we'll play Dragon Age Origins. Now I'm annoyed by someone on, on Facebook. Okay, Dragon Age Origins is the first game. I never watched the intro before. I skipped through it, I believe. I watched part of it, but skipped through most of it. So is the golden city uh, black, and with each step you take in my hall, marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Canticle of Trenodis, 8.13. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darks.
they became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It's been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Nice intro. First time I watched it, at least since 2009, I skipped it when I tried the game. So here is the faction selection screen. We have two genders, male or female. We have three races, human, wood elf, or dwarf. They are just elves, but I believe they are wood elves. Okay, and uh, female, human, wood elf, or dwarf. I don't know a lot about the lore for each race, but I know that the humans have a good position in the world. The grey wardens are often humans, or probably all of them are humans and uh, many of the lordships and such are consist of humans so they have a powerful position i don't know about the dwarves but i know that the elves are servants of the humans in many parts of this world so they are not highly ranked in other games you know the high elves are always the highest of everyone i mean the the, the most high they, they have the highest status the, the most knowledge the the purest race etc but here they are lower than the humans and are used as servants and slaves. Another thing I didn't like when I tried Dragon Age 2 was that the, uh, the action on battle system is much different. It's an action role playing game. Well this game, Dragon Age Origins, is more like Star Wars Kotor, Knights of the Old Republic. It has very very similar system in battle as Star Wars. <coughs> and I prefer that system. It's more uh, tactical more interesting in my opinion to, to fight battles with the system of this game. The other game has more intense battles that, that are fun in the actual battle but it feels like they just keep sending troops all the time. I was never a big fan of games like you know the Samurai Warrior type games and I believe it has a similar system to those games. It has the same UI as this game but the battles are more focused on killing hordes of enemies well in this game it's more like you have a party and you, you can post game and select each one to do their moves in that game you can also do that to some extent but the battles are so intense and fast that, that it feels very different and 
also the, the enemies just keep coming and the, and the world doesn't feel as interesting. It's like uh, you have a more linear world there, at least the part I played in the beginning where you, had, you moved on a linear path and then the new enemies showed up all the time. But here you have more of an area where you move around and speak to people and such and then then if, if you are attacked then, then you can avoid enemies and, and move to different areas for different events to happen. I, I mean, uh, say the, the battles here are more to my taste, but they are more intense in the other game. But I still think I would like the other game, just not as much as this game. We'll play a human and a female. We also have different classes based on races. So a human, if we are human we can be uh, the original classes are warrior mage or a rogue that's the vanilla classes then i have a mod that has added some new classes uh, namely the warlock and the ritualist and they have different backgrounds depending on the, the class you pick Okay, and then the wood elves, they, they can also be warriors, but they have different backgrounds. They are, the different races have different backgrounds. They can be mage, rogue, and they can be the same classes, but they have different backgrounds for some of the classes. The dwarf can be a dwarf commoner, or a dwarf noble. The story will be different too, depending on what you play as. So commoner or noble, the dwarves. And with the elf, if you are a mage, you will be a magi, no matter what. Same with the ritualist and uh, the, the warlock. The warlock also has the option to be a dalish elf. Then if you play as the rogue, you can be a Dalish Elf or a City Elf. A warrior can be a Dalish Elf or a City Elf too. The Dalish Elf is more ranged, focused. And the City Elf is more rogue, focused with swords and such. Okay, we will play as a human, female. I will be a warrior. I want to play one of the original classes, mage, warrior or rogue. But I, I prefer warrior in any fantasy based game. Warlock would have been fun if they could summon creatures but I don't believe they can that in this game. Okay. And you click character selection. The warrior uh, the humans didn't have a lot of background but we can only pick the human noble for the warrior. That's the one I picked previously. We'll go for it. Then it zooms in and we have ma many options here. Like different Heads. Um, presets. We want this preset, and then we want to go to hair. We don't want the vanilla hair styles. This is probably the best looking vanilla hairstyle. There are some modifications to it that we are in the vanilla game too. But we have custom hairstyles now. This is one of the custom hairstyles. This is a custom one too. Look pretty good. I don't want a ponytail. This one reminded me of like Shandy Ark or something. <laughs> the movie. Many variations of ponytails. I already decided which one I want to use. This one was also decent. Face looked good, this one. 
not use that either. Here we have long hair. Usually I prefer long hair, but I didn't like the the stuff in the, at the forehead there. This one reminded me of Android 18 a bit from Dragon Ball Z. We won't use it either. Doesn't fit a noble of the medieval period. This one also is so nice. Okay. So the second game had no good hairstyles. She looked like a male character almost. So I need to use modes there. This one is also pretty cool. Look at li looks like an anime character. No. This one was good, but not perfect. However, this one is the one I will use. I used that one previously. And we will go to a quick, good, uh, quick play. I don't care. We will. I don't think easy matters. It's still pretty difficult because a mod probably forces it up to normal anyway. If we can have it on easy. It will probably be normal anyway. I'll watch the intro. Of the game. So yeah, the second game and third game are action role-playing games, while this one is a more traditional role-playing game. It's very similar, just the action is different, the fighting and battle. The battle system is different. That's why I will prefer this game probably over the others. If you like Knights of the Old Republic, you will love this game. It has the same system pretty much. Slightly improved. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown, not against the men of Orlais against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my daughter? I see she's become a lovely young woman. Pleased to see you again, my dear. All right, we have options now. We can pick different answers. Just like in Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic, it will affect the game differently. So, whenever you play the game, you can have a different outcome in different situations based on what you pick. So answers. So I see she's become a lovely young woman. Pleased to see you again, my dear. Then we have these options: one was I brought here for a reason, two, and you are low. And uh, is your family here? Hello. Or so you're not leaving until tomorrow. And uh, we'll pick the fourth one. So you're not leaving until tomorrow. Your brother is riding out with our forces today, but the Arl and I will lead his men tomorrow. My son Thomas asked after you. Perhaps I should bring him with me next time. Yeah for answers to what end. I like that. Thomas is a few years younger than I am. Or I have no interest in an arranged marriage. <coughs> okay. Okay. 
too. I like that. Good. My son's rather fascinated with stories of your prowess as a warrior. I dare say he'd like to test it firsthand. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Okay, four options. Are you certain? What's involved with such a task? I'll do best. I'll do my best, Father. Or what? Why can't I go into battle with you and Fergus? Or is that really necessary? Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'll do my best, Father. Now that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away. Yes. There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. They're an order of great warriors. They defeated the Darkspawn long ago. He said they were a small order and no longer important. Is there a reason I should care? We'll take the second answer. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, Half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your daughter is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is my daughter we're talking about. Three options. I think I rather like that idea, Father. Is there a reason I shouldn't join them, or I have no interest in becoming a grave warden? There's a reason I shouldn't join them. You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? course or don't strain my build or anything I don't have no I have to be here for that do I of course in the meantime find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me <clears throat> where is Fergus or are you trying to get rid of me or but I'd like to stay and talk to Duncan or but I'm not done talking to you yet where is Fergus upstairs in his chambers no doubt spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lass and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Alright. Here is where the game changed. No new quest. Codexes. Move around like this with the keyboard using the V and the D buttons. You can zoom out using the wheel on the mouse. And this is what I thought the game would be like. You click like this to move like an old game. You hold the right mouse button to move around the camera like this. And then click moving. This is if you want to play the game like an old role-playing game. You can also, however, zoom in and uh, control them with the keyboard using the V, D, S, A buttons. They move around like this. This is how I like to play role-playing games, like in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. You can also zoom around the camera like this. Good evening, my lady. Speak to this guy. Greetings, my lady. You are the Terran's daughter, are you not? And who are you? I am a member of Alhau's personal guard. 
The rest of the Isles forces are expected tonight. I understand you shall take charge of your father's castle once we march. There's a little noise or not if I have anything to say about it. Or so I'm told, yes. <coughs> So I'm told, yes. Ah, then I wish you luck. Good evening, my lady. Good evening, my lady. Good evening, my lady. Good, good evening, my lady. Orders are decent. But the models are actually good. Well, the backgrounds and then the areas look a bit dated, but I'm using a mod to enhance the, gra the textures. I'm sorry, but I believe your father wishes to talk to the Arl and myself alone. I'll leave you alone then. Maybe speak later, or I was hoping to ask you a quick question or two. Very well. I doubt your father would mind a slight delay. Are there really dark spawn in the south, or how much danger are Fergus and my, fa uh, and my father in? <coughs> Would you really recruit me into the Grave Wardens? Would you really come all this way to see Sir Gilmore? Uh, or, never mind, I can ask you later. We'll go for the third question. Of course. You are young and very skilled, or so I hear. Many of the finest Grey Wardens have been women. The Grey Wardens do not recruit simply anybody. And I intend no flattery when I say you show promise. The old treaties allow me to conscript you even against your father's wishes, but I will not do so. Our order is too small to risk animosity with Ferelden's nobility. I'm glad I am to hear it. It's tempting, your lordship, but I'm content to see what other candidates your castle offers. The real dark spoon in the sad or how much danger are Ferguson and my father in? Well, I understand the first battles have gone easily. Indeed. Are the Grey Wardens sure this is a blight and not simply some large darkspawn raid? No archdemon has been sighted yet, my lord. But with my entire soul, I believe this is a blight. I wish we shared your faith. I suppose we shall see for ourselves. Once we arrive at the king's camp, that guy looks like uh, Count Frollo from <coughs> from the Bell of Notre Dame or whatever, and the the Hunchback of Notre Dame, the evil guy. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so I haven't had a discussion come this far previously. I cut through the discussion as fast as possible when I tried to play the game. <coughs> I leave, but, but I did the, the previous discussion, but I didn't go back and speak to them like this. Uh, I haven't heard this discussion before. I wish we shared your fate. I suppose we shall see for ourselves once we arrive at the king's camp. I leave you alone then. Are there really, uh, yeah. really dark spawns in the south? Indeed. We spotted a horde assembling in the Korkari Wilds not three weeks ago. Luckily, King Caelan took us at our word and marshaled Ferelden's forces quickly. The first battles have already been fought. Your father and I must move quickly. Okay, how many the dogs but are there? Thousands. Perhaps ten thousand or more in this horde. Normally the darkspawn stay in the deep roads. It bodes dark ill spawn. that so many risk the surface. Alright, did you really come all this way to see Sir Gilmore? I have only found a couple of worthy candidates in my travels across Ferelden. Your father invited me here suggesting this Sir Gilmore. If he is not suitable, I will head south and join up with the king. All right. Do you know the king? Not well. King Caelan is an eager young man who has shown great wisdom in responding to the Darkspawn threat. I've heard he is a bit enraptured with the Grey Warden legend, and that is why he caters to your order. How? That is unworthy of you. He only repeats what we've all heard. Whatever the King's reasons, I'll take his support. The priority is defeating the Darkspawn before they threaten all of Ferelden. I'll leave you alone then. Until we speak again. Alright. We'll move out. 
It shall be done. But before that, there might be some extra rooms here we can knock open thanks to Maud. But we didn't need to. Okay. That wasn't an extra room. Let's check the other doors first. Ah, so there were no... There were three paths into this hall. The main hall. Okay, we'll move here first. That's locked in the vanilla game. But thanks to mod we could punch it open. Same with chests. We got a lesser ice salve here. It shall be done. And a mace was found here. Chest it is there. begun. Deep mushroom. Okay, lesser ice salve. Sticky snow white salve. No two particles of it are identical. Use. Ice salve increases the user's resistance to cold damage for a short time. We'll add it. And the uh, deep mushroom. Fungi found an uh, underground in close proximity, proximity to lyrium veins. In addition to their restorative pro properties, they can also be made into poisons. Okay, restriction. Only warriors or rogues can use them. After chewing a deep mushroom, the user gains a small amount of stamina. Spellcasters gain no benefits from deep mushrooms. Okay. Add it. And the mace can be added. So we have a weapon now. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. <coughs> Van, why are, you <coughs> why are you looking for me? Hello to you, Sir Gilmore. Ah, this is Sir Gilmore. Good thing too, considering father's company. Why are you looking for me? I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. The dog get into the larder again. She was my nanny before she was co the cook, and won't leave. And is just blowing off steam. She's always like that. Or so why you look for me? Do something. <coughs> I will take the first one. Did the dog get into the larder again? No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. He'll listen to his mistress, but anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. One stupid dog. He never behaves. Or two, he knows better than to hurt anyone. Or three, I'm busy at the moment. Or four, then I guess I should go collect him. To go for stupid dog, he never behaves. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari Warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? To the kitchen then, where I need to talk to my mother first. I don't need you to follow me around, or where is my mother exactly? We'll go for to the kitchen then. Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Now he joins the team. We can select him and control him. We can also select him here and give him stuff. Whenever he leaves the team, we get our stuff back that he carries. So he has this stuff. We can't steal any of his stuff. Okay, so you can control him. We won't do that. Good evening, my lady. Oh, here are some people too. Hello, my dear girl. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. <coughs> One, it's all right. It's boring. Or two, still the same taskmaster I see. Or three, they should could do with some discipline. So I like history. So I will go for the third option. Perhaps you could help <coughs> me with that. Might you join me in teaching this lesson? 
Ah, no thank you, I must attend an important task, or two, certainly I'd be happy to. Or three, I'm quite familiar with the subject matter. Or four, I'm a bit old for lessons, I think. To go for three, I'm quite familiar with the subject matter. Or two, two, certainly I'd be happy to. Wonderful! Oh, the Coastland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? One, come to think of it, I have things I must do, or two, when was our line founded? Three, we predate the founding of the kingdom, yes? Four, tell about our, our relationship with Earl Ho. The history between the Coastlands and the Howes reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. Okay. One, go on. During the rebellion against Orlais, several battles were fought near Hyever. The port village of Harper's Ford was the Turnier's center. Its arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly ninety, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but Howe sided with Orlais. Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. <clears throat> Run, but my father and Earl Ho are old friends, too. We fought the Hoes. Three, this was our right. The Hoes are our vassals. Or four, unfortunate, but we couldn't lose Harper's Ford. <coughs> Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but Ho sided with all lies. Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. <clears throat> yeah. Unfortunate, but we couldn't lose Harper's Ford. Correct. That caused a rift between the two families, as you might imagine. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan. To fight the Darkspawn. Okay, time to end the lesson, I think. Or when was our line founded? Or we predate the founding of the kingdom? Yes. We go for when was our line founded? Well, records are vague, but the Kuslans became Tians during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Yeah, I remember something about an age in there. Every day I pray to the Maker that my lessons will stick, and every day he tasks me anew. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their turn. Okay, to repudiate the founding of the kingdom, yes? Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young lady. <coughs> One, I don't advise insulting me, old man. Two, I'm doing the best I can. Three, <coughs> your lecturing does lead to yawning. Or four, it's your skill as a tutor, of course. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance amongst my pupils. You can look that up later. At any rate, your family has held the tournier of High Ever since before King Kalanad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elathea Kuslan battled Kalanad to maintain High Ever's independence. We opposed the king, or and the Kalanad led us to, to let us to keep the tournier. I suppose we lost. At any rate, your family has held the tournier of High Ever since before King Cullen had united Fre Ferelden. <coughs> Ferelden. In fact, Terna Elita Coastland battled Cullen had to maintain Hyever's independence. We opposed the king. Well, the Coastlands are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Cullen had was unknown and considered dangerous by many. When Cullen had's army reached Hyever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Callan had one. Come to think of it, I have things I must do, uh, too, and Callan had let us keep the tail near. Callan had wished to unite Ferold and not conquer it. After Elathea's men were defeated, Callan had asked her to swear fealty. 
The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. And then less, I think. Uh, thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. Don't ask myself all this while you can do this. Mother says the Darkspawn will all be killed and I won't see one. Is that true? This is boring. Why do we have to read books anyway? I want to learn how to use a sword. Hmm. He felt fell asleep. At least I can speak. Good evening, my lady. Good evening, my lady. Move over here first. Good evening, my lady. Evening, my lady. Evening, my lady. Maker, prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all! Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. I would appreciate that, Mother Mallow. Or two, perhaps later. Three, if it will make you feel better. I don't see the point. I'll go for one. Please, child. Call me Mallow. I've known you since you were a wee Lol. babe, after all. Okay. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Make a watch over us. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. Make it forgive us all. There now. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. You're welcome to come. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. Should go anyway, or thank you, my lord, or three. Could you answer a few questions? I cannot. Many await my attendant before they march into the unknown. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. All right. Leave this chapel. Here. Oh, my lady, we were just uh... ignoring your duties, playing cards, taking a break. We'll go for one. Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the town stationed us here. Don't worry about it, man. I won't say anything or two. We always question your duties or three. Did my father fear someone would steal something? Do you always question your duties? No, my lady, of course not. Then perhaps you'd better get back to work, or I'll forget about it this time, or continue your game, pretend I never came by, we'll go for... Then perhaps you'd better get back to work. Yes, my lady. Thank you, my lady. I suspect that's necessary. We need a key there. Otherwise, uh, maybe they will get in trouble later. Here, here's where we uh, met him. This way. We had nothing to do, I believe. We've been here before. We still checked out the area. Okay, so I not. No chests or anything. Bloody 
mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Right, one. I'm sorry it's bothering you, Nan. Or two, he's not a mongrel, he's a pure blood of Mabari. Or three, perhaps you should look your larder tighter. Or four, maybe you should be put down. Okay. <coughs> uh, you and you, your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. <clears throat> I'm sorry it's bothering you, Nan. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way! Okay, we'll move in here. I shall do it. So that's our dog, the oh, Mario. Look at Mabari that mess. Horham. How did he even get in here? Enough, you are a bad boy. Do you hear me? Or what a smart boy you are. Oh yes, you are. Or sit right there. I'm not pu putting up with this. Or are you trying to tell me something, boy? Uh, are you trying to tell me something, boy? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait. Do you hear that? Yeah, enemies. Mm. Rats here. Select so the game passes before any battles. So we'll select for the dog the Mumbari War and to attack that rat. And we'll select uh, Fergus to attack this rat. Then we will attack the third one with the main character. Ready! Then there will be rat. So a simple battle. Giant rats? It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Right, I like that they are bloody after the battle, so that the blood doesn't disappear. In the original game, the blood would disappear after a while. Here it only disappears if you heal yourself and such, I believe. In the original game, the bodies of the dead monsters, creatures, animals and humans would also disappear, but here they won't disappear thanks to more. Okay, one, it certainly looks that way, or those were very large rats, or maybe it was just a coincidence, or so my hand put me in danger, great. We'll go for those very large rats, or, yeah. I've seen larger. They come up from the Kakari wilds sometimes. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Alright. Very well. Take the chest. Black Vellum added. Course added. <coughs> Dog whistle. Can add it there. Colon the dog. Black vellum. Fine fine treated lambskin suitable for exciting illustration and script. Quartz. Milky white stone of remarkable strength. Okay. Then we have a lesser health potion. We'll add it to, to the third slot there. And ice cell could also be added. Resistance to cold damage. That was unnecessary, don't need it. Already had to place it out. Yes, man. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Actually, he was defending your larder from rats, big ones. He's not so bad, man. He's the dog being a dog, yes. Well, what can you do? You'll go for the first one. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. 
Yes, the rats are dead. It's quite a mess, in fact. My faithful warhound made sure of it safe. Took care of it. No need to be afraid. Go for. Yes, the rats are dead. It's quite a mess, in fact. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then. Take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lady. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. All right. Thank you again for your help. Now, if you'll just hold on a moment. Yes? I mean, I, uh, do you know, I just... Adney, get moving with those casts. And Kath, do you think you can serve that to the turn with dirt from the floor all over it? Miserable old bat. Old bat, am I? We've got to work double time on supper. Sweep out the hearths and no complaining. Mr. Day, have you considered whipping them or any more rat problems? We'll go for busy day. Just keeping order. That's why your father keeps me on. The good maker knows I needn't take care of you anymore. Thank you for coming to your old nanny's rescue. That blasted hound is more trouble than he's worth. He is. <laughs> Don't start with me. You've gotten all you're getting today. But what about you, my lady? Been keeping safe and well behaved, I hope. Of course, when it's convenient. That, w that would be boring. Why would I say anything but yes? Um, with, uh, been keeping me safe and well behaved. Uh, of course. Good. I'm not exactly privy to your goings on now that you're grown. Just an old nanny, never invited to your father's fancy meetings. Do you remember that bedtime tale I used to tell you, the dog that bit? Remember it? Oh, maker, not this again. Not too well now. I don't have time for stories now. Not too well now. Bless me. I used to tell you that one every night. I did. I thought it was your favourite. Before our father's fathers came down from the mountains, a warhound was born to the elder bitch of a tribal chief. They named him Hahaku and gave him everything. He grew up a fine, strong pup, destined to be the partner of the chief's eldest son. The dog found the, the idea tedious, and Hohaku grew prideful. Hohaku wanted nothing to do with it, or I don't have time for this. <coughs> The dog found the idea tedious. The young hound became arrogant, taking food from his kin and warning them, in the way of dogs, that the chief's family would punish them if they tried to attack him. Years passed, and the time for the chief's son to take a warhound came closer. Hahaku's pride swelled, and many of the people of the tribe came to the chief, quietly whispering of this dog's bullying. With each complaint, the chief saw only Hahaku's strength and pride, and sent his people away. But as his son grew, the chief watched more closely. The day might come when his boy's life would depend on this dog. If the humblest of his people would not trust Hahaku, how could he? So he made a weak dog his son's partner. Hohaku's own misdeeds split him, or strong or not, he chose a more reliable dog. Third, I just go get the drink. <clears throat> Strong or not, he shoes a more reliable dog. When the day came, Hahaku sat proudly waiting to be called, but the old chief chose Hahaku's brother as his son's hound. Hahaku was shamed, but felt no remorse. So great was his rage that he darted across the fire pit and bit the chief's hand. Should have waited until the chief was alone. A bold move. That was a mistake. Okay, bold move. No, an impulsive and prideful one. The chief and his son struck at Hahaku, cursing him. The hound ran into the village, seeking shelter in the tents and kennels. The other dogs snapped at him, and the tribe's people threw stones at him. Before the chief could reach him, the tribe had torn Hahaku apart. Now, what should you carry from this tale? Don't abuse your power, or have you treated the least is remembered by the greatest. <coughs> Three, the weak, pull down the strong when they can. Four, no one is about justice. Five, respect all equality. Respect all equally. 
or old nurses tell boring stories. <clears throat> Don't abuse your power. Exactly. Hahaku took advantage of a position he thought he was entitled to. But you're far too old now for an old woman to be reminding you to watch how you behave, hmm? Do you tell me that story? You aren't comparing my my Mabari to Hahaku, are you? Thank you for the story. I was, it was thoughtful of you. Yes, I am. But you're far too old now for an old woman to be reminding you. To, to watch how you behave. <coughs> Why did you tell me that story? It's a story worth repeating. That's all. Be off with you then. Tell your brother farewell before he rides off to war. All right. We will serve you while the Terran is away. We will serve you well while the Terran is gone. Ring found. Cat there. Elf root added. <coughs> the common name for can canavari is this herb actually has little to do with elves other than being commonly collected and traded to outsiders for the Dalish by the Dalish, the Dalish. It is the primary ingredient in many healing salves used chewing elf food. Uh, use chewing elf root restores a small amount of health and those with skill can use elf root to make more potent elixirs. Okay, we will add that to uh, elf root. Oh, we got an iron ring, I don't know what it does, but we can equip it, so we'll do it. have another sack there. Elf root added. The war we haven't been in. Let's go there. The Terran and the Arl are leaving before dawn. It will be such a long night. We will serve you well while the Terran is gone. So all the Woodelves are servants here. You can also control the dog, by the way. He counts as a character here in this first area of the game. But in the vanilla game, he was only available as a playable character in the beginning, I believe, of the game. Uh, you had to use a mod to add him as a fifth playable character. So you can have five party members, including the dog. Okay. The only spawns uh, after this area, if you are outside in an area where there are lots of monsters and such, then it spawns out of nowhere. And we'll follow on quests. We need to find our way. I believe it's up here, yes. And my dear Bryce bought this pack from Orlay last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Now, ah, here is my lovely daughter. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? Um, yes, mother. Nan is back to work as we speak, or two. Yes, there were giant rats in the larder. Or three. Nan's head exploded on my hand, uh, and my hand ate the kitchen staff. Four. I'd rather keep chasing this stupid. I'd rather not keep chasing this stu stupid dog. <coughs> we'll go for yes. Uh, there were giant rats in the larder. Ah, oh, marvelous! Just the thing for my guests to hear right before dinner. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Van Lawrence's wife? 
I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. Of course, it is good to see you again, my lady. Where did you get drunk? Uh, or, if you say so, all four. So you'll have to wait. Father sent me to, to find Fergus. <clears throat> of course, it's good to see you again, my lady. You're too kind, dear girl. Didn't I spend half the salon trying to convince you to marry my son? And made a very poor case for it, I might add. You remember my son, Dairon. He's not married yet, either. Don't listen to her. It's good to see you again, milady. You're looking as beautiful as ever. Thank you, a flatterer. Go soak your head, or you're looking handsome yourself. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do say something, dear. It is a great pleasure, my lady. You are as pretty as your mother describes. And she says that after seeing you whacking stuffed men in the courtyard, sweating like a mule. Your daughter's prowess with the blade is most impressive. I was quite the battle maiden myself in my day. But I think it was the softer arts that helped me land a husband. One, I can handle my own affairs, thank you. Two, may I go now, mother. Three, you are aware that we are at war. Or four, perhaps we should speak alone sometime, Darian. Go for this one. I would like that, my lady. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your ladyship. Right, they left. Let's speak to the mother. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Right, I should go. Two, do you know there's a grey warden here? Three, do you know where Fergus might be? Four, why can't I go with father and Fergus? Five, I have a bad feeling about all this. Six, are you staying at castle? We'll go for fifth. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me. But it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. And I should go to... Do you know there's a grave warden here? Go for that. Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. <clears throat> One, the dogs will never return. The grave wardens are needed. Two, fathers wouldn't allow it. Three, would, would that be so bad? Four, definitely not. You'll go for one. There's enough here at the castle to occupy you. I don't need you off chasing danger like your brother. Right. Do you know where Fergus might be? If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. Okay. Why can't I go with Father and Fergus? I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off. But we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? But if they fall without me... It's in the Maker's hands now. And we must cope as best we can. Okay, do you know where Fergus might be, or are you staying at the castle? For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate, and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. One, I don't think you should go. Or two, I was about to suggest that myself, or as you wish, will go too. Delightful. Then there's no argument. Do you know where Fer Fergus might be? If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. Okay, I should go. I love you, my darling girl. You know that, don't you? Okay, I'm hard like a girl any longer, or what brought this on? Uh, we'll go for... One. Go do what you must, then. I will see you soon. This door. See if there's anything we can loot here. So if without the mod we wouldn't be able to get inside, then we would need um, rogue scales, I believe. Good evening, my lady. Or pick, uh, pick locking scales. So these doors you can't bash them all open. Nothing here. 
a chest, but you can't use it. Move it set here. Uh, doesn't open. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little sister to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. One, should I wait outside? Or two, just let me know when you two are finished. Three, no darkspawn could harm Fergus. Or t four, you two are no seating me. No seating me. <coughs> and here's my little sister to see me off. Now dry your e dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. <coughs> Yeah, I used to let you know when you two are finished. <laughs> when there's a man in your life, you'll understand. One, I prefer my freedom, thank you. Two, you said I don't have one now. Or three, men are overrated. Or four, if you wouldn't three, if you please. We go for... One. One day you'll meet someone who can handle you. Mark my words. Okay, one. Bring a message. Father wants you to leave it at him. Or two. I wish I could go with you. Three. You will be missed, brother. Or four. You know there's a grave warden in the castle. Or five. If you really think this war will be over quickly, you go for four. Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? He says he's recruiting. Or he's going to test Sir Gilmore. It's not important. I go for two. Good for him. I hope he makes it. If I were a Grey Warden, though, I'd have my eye on you. Not that Father would ever allow it. Run. I bring a message. Father wants you to leave with him. Without him. Uh, two. I wish I could go with you. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those dark spawn myself. In Antiva, a woman fighting in battle would be unthinkable. Is that so? I always heard Antivan women were quite dangerous. With kindness and poison only, my husband. This from the woman who serves me my tea. <laughs> okay, one. Bring a message. Father wants you to leave it him. You'll be missed, brother. You'll go for three. Word from the south is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. Okay, you'll be missed, brother. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Run, I bring a message. Father wants you to leave it out him. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. <sighs> well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. One, a good shield would be more useful. Or two, could have delivered your message yourself, father. Three, Fergus will be fine. Or four, you just might need those prayers. We'll go for one. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, make us breath. It's like living with a pair of small boys. Thankfully, I have a daughter. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her, sister, won't you? Oh, just go already. You can count on me, or you'll need protecting more than me her. Before, mother can handle herself. Always has. It's true. They should be sending her, not me. She would scold those darkspawn back into the deep roads. 
Well, I'm glad you find this so funny. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. All right, speak to them a little. You should need any assistance in the coming days. I would be glad to offer it. Mama says you're going to be watching over us while Papa is gone. Is that true, Auntie? Uh, yes, that's true, Oren. It's not going to be very exciting. We'll go for two. What if the castle is attacked? Will there be dragons? Dragons are terrible creatures, Oren. They eat people. Yeah, I want to see one. This is your influence, Fergus. What? I didn't say anything. Are you going to teach me to use a sword, Auntie? Then I can fight evil too. Take that, dire bunny. All dark spawn. Fear my sword of truthiness. Truthiness. Maybe ask your mother. You bet. Let's go. Fergus, there are times your family causes me great pain. Now, now. Mind your mother, Oren. Oh, I never get to do anything. Don't worry, son. You'll get to see a sword up close real soon. I promise. This is going to be boring. I don't want to stay in the castle all the time. Getting sent to bed early, are we? Fun on the long march in the cold. Still rather be going with you. So, uh, we'll go for two. I'd rather that too. Better be fun fighting side by side. Maybe next time. <laughs> At any rate, I'll miss you. Take care of everyone, and be here when I get back. All right. You should be on your way, pup. Long day ahead tomorrow. Are you sure you'll be all right? But this Grey Warden... Ah, I was wondering how long this would take. Has he asked to recruit you? And if he did, no, why would I want to be recruited? He has, and I was just wondering about him. Uh, one. If he did, then I would have to consider it. If a blight is truly upon us in the south, then Grey Wardens will be needed. There is no higher calling. If it comes to that, we can talk about it when I get back. Until then, just show him every courtesy. Duncan is a fine man. And a hero. <clears throat> I'm sending all of your forces... Uh, is sending all of your forces at a good idea? When the king demands it. In fact, not sending our forces south would be a distinctly bad idea. Don't worry, pup. You shouldn't see many problems. But I want you to prepare the men left here. In case. <clears throat> Are you sure you'll be alright? In case of what? Legends of the Blights tell of horrible things. These darkspawn once threatened many lands. If we can't hold them, you must prepare for the worst. Right, now you're scaring me, father. I'll do my best, father, I swear it. I know you will. You are a Kuzland, after all. But let's not speak of ominous things. We shall assume that all will go well, and the Maker will watch over us. Are you sure you'll be alright? Your brother and I go into battle, not an afternoon tea. Who knows what will happen to us? I will tell you, however. You're my darling daughter. I love you. And I trust you completely to carry on the Kuzlin name if the worst should happen. But don't worry about me, dear girl. You'll have enough to occupy your mind while I'm gone. Okay, I'll go now. I know that you'll do me proud. You've grown into a sensible woman. That much is clear. All right. Best do as your father says, darling. I will see you in the morning, bright and early. Now I wish I was staying. It's damn cold in the south this time of year. If you should need any assistance in the coming days, this I would be glad to, be to offer boring. I don't want to...
beast. Okay. Angry barking and growling. He starts at the door and growls. What's wrong, boy? Someone out there. I uh, ha had just enough of you today. Tree, are you hearing rats again? Go after them already. Um, I go for one or two. You go for one. My lady, help me! The castle is under attack! <laughs> Now we need to be first. We must not exhaust our supplies. Okay, so we started right off of bed here. Yeah, she'll need to be fast in pre uh, putting on her gear. She sucks like this. If she were to fight like this, she would die. We'll keep the gear. Boots, the helmet, shield. Armor and the gauntlets, and then the weapon. The two we have the Coastland Ceremonial Dagger, 480 damage, 3.60% critical chance, armor penetration 520, strength modifier 0 0.85, messy kills. Plus 5 critical slash backstab da damage. Or we have the Coastland Ceremony Longsword. 8.40 damage. Critical chance 240. It has less critical chance. 260 armor penetration. Less armor penetration. Strength modification. It's better strength modifier. Messy kills. 5% critical backstab slash damage. And then we have this one. It sucks in comparison. We will go for the dagger. I believe it's the better one. Yeah. So now we have a sword too. Very well. battle system it's like uh, almost like in world of warcraft you can zoom around while they fight and it's more like they are stuck in a place and can switch targets and such okay and this is where the second part the first chapter begins where we are supposed to kill kill off guards and and uh, fight to either flee this place or try to save the others in the place I think we will save here I believe they, the game auto saves too but we will save used to be it auto saves before the battle we will save here and we will exit here. So the first episode will be when I we could uh, continue probably and play a bit longer. I had played quite a bit longer, but the the video would be so long. Maybe we'll we will exit here and continue later. I have finished the, the entire part here too, and the feral and stuff, and then uh, ended when I. We're outside of Feral then and ready to kill some monsters. I did, did kill a few too, but wolves and some dark spawn, but sadly I, I died and then, then I decided to exit. But, but uh, yeah, we, we have at least uh, two more areas that had been previously. Okay, but we will exit here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Otherwise, it will become too long. Bye.